Inside this little suitcase is the Karima Portative MC15. It is a small uh, full keyboard calculator. Let me just take this out. There we go. I'll, uh, let me just show the underside. On the edge here it says Swiss made and then the serial number 23128. It has some nice folding legs here. It weighs about uh, two and a half kilograms, so it's not very heavy for a machine like this. I'll uh, turn this this around, press this down. Right, so now we're ready to go. It has a, an eight-digit display. It's under this uh, prismatic uh, window, uh, and it has eight columns of keys, a full keyboard. These lines here that uh, separate the columns, those are on this uh, transparent overlay. So you can turn over the overlay if you want to have the dividing lines somewhere else. But uh, if you have it like this, you use two digits after the decimal point. The white line here was added by an earlier owner of the machine. Unlike most uh, machines with a big lever, the lever doesn't actually perform the operation. In this case it's done to prime the mechanism to add energy to the system. The operation, the addition or subtraction is actually done when you press the other keys. For example if I type in 123 it gets added to the register immediately and uh, yeah, to, to add a new number you prime the mechanism again and that releases the keys from the keyboard and you can type in the next number to add. That gets added as soon as you press the digits. If you type a number and you've typed it wrong, typed the wrong number, you can still correct it by pressing this C button. When you press that, the keys pop up and the register is returned to its previous value. And you have to prime it again before you type what you want it to do. To subtract, you use this minus button. You have to press that before you type the number. So if I subtract uh, 555, five, five, this time it's not done immediately, it's not shown in the register until you press the equals button. That's when, when the operation is done. And then you prime it for the next operation, the next addition or subtraction. If you subtract something that's larger than what you have in the register, you'd get a negative number, of course. If I subtract this, and you can see that the negative number is shown because it has uh, it's underflowed. It starts with all nines, and uh, yeah, the uh, instruction booklet has an interesting method of working out what this uh, what this number actually means. What and uh, what you do is you uh, simply start from the right hand side and add whatever it takes to make this into turn this into zero. So if there's a two here, so I add an eight. There's now a 1 here, so I add a 9. There's now a 9 here, so I add a 1. And now it's overflowed to 0. So what I typed, the 198, that's what it actually said on the register. It said minus 198. If, you've, uh, if you want to clear the register, you use this 0 button here then you have to prime the mechanism again before you do the next operation as usual. Multiplication, that's done by repeated addition and you can use this small 
uh, dial here. For now it's been on uh, set to A, which is for addition. That means that every time you press the lever the keyboard gets cleared. But uh, if I set this to uh, 4, for example, if I want to multiply s s something by 4, I type in the number. That already gets to the added to the register once. And now I start pumping the lever. Now I have it twice, three times and four times. And each time I, I press the lever, this dial moves down. It started at four and now it's moved around to A, normal addition. So the next time I add, uh, push the lever, it does nothing anymore because it's now on A. All it does is clear the keyboard. So what, what's left here is four times that initial input. Suppose I want to, multi to multiply that number not by 4 by, but by 34 then I'd have to just do each digit separately. So now I'm doing the 30, I'll put this onto 3 and input the, the number I'm multiplying one column to the left. So now I do that 3 times, 1, 2 and a third time to clear the keyboard. So what I have here is 34 times the input. Unfortunately this does mean that you have to uh, input this number several times, each time one column shifted. So it's not a, a really good machine for multiplying numbers. It's even worse for division because this uh, repeating uh, uh, mechanism with this dial that doesn't work for subtraction. Subtraction used this whole different mechanism using this equals button. Uh, so repeated subtraction can't really be done in that way. Instead what they uh, devised is a method of doing division by repeated addition. Suppose for example you want to divide 4476 by 12. What you actually do is you do repeated addition of 12 to build up that number and then see how many times you needed to uh, add that number together to, to, to get there. So what you do, first, first of all you work out that this uh, result is going to be three digits long so we reserve the last three columns for the, the answer and we'll reserve the first four columns for building up this numerator. I put in the denominator 12 on the far left and put a 1 on the far left of the results uh, columns. And now I put the dial onto R. That means that Pressing this uh, lever will repeat the addition without clearing the keyboard, but it also keeps it on R. It doesn't slowly move down, and uh, with each each press, it just keeps keeps repeating indefinitely. So I've got twelve, I've got twelve, and I want to know how often I have to add it together to exceed or to reach forty-four. So I start pressing. Now I've reached 48, I've gone over the 44 I wanted, so I cancel that last addition, so it now says 36, and it says 3 here, because I've done the addition 3 times essentially. Then you move one column to the right, so I put 12 in the column to the right, oh, hang on, it's locked up, I have to prime the mechanism first. So I move one column to the right, and also on the answer, I, I'm now doing the next column, the tens column, so I've put a 1 there. I've not exceeded the input yet, so the, uh, the goal yet, so I have to add it a few more times. See, now I've exceeded the, the input, so I cancel the last addition. Uh, prime the mechanism for the next the next set. Move one column to the right, 
and a column to the right on the answer as well. And I'll start adding. There we go. Now I've reached the, uh, the numerator. So this number, 4476, divided by 12 is 373. Well, there we go, and uh, yeah, now we have to uh, uh, st put it back into its storage space, into its suitcase. To do that, you first press the, the cancel button, that releases the, the springs inside and locks up the keyboard. I'll tilt this up so I, I go, so I can uh, fold in these legs. You have to push these towards the middle a bit to, to release them. Push them inwards. And here it goes into the box. The, uh, this button has to be uh, turned around and pushed down until it just about touches the case. This is actually also probably why a lot of these machines no longer have this, yeah, this button here. It breaks off if you handle it too roughly in this uh, in this situation. So that was the Karima Portative MC15. Thank you for watching.